What is going on guys, MJ2005 Gundam here, and today I'm going to be unboxing the Hybrid Mobile Doll Sarah. Now excuse the lighting, just because I do not have the usual light bar on on the frame of the second bunk, so... Well, the light are gonna be... The lights are gonna be a bit weird. And second of all, well, I have mixed feelings about me buying this kit initially, and I just feel weird walking with this in my hands around the street, but... Just to come to look at it, I... Excuse me for a poor grammar. Now, I am... My feelings are growing on this kit. Now, I bought it initially just because I need this for the uh, custom that I'm going to make, the Gundam Virgo. But I seem to be growing on this, just this look. Now, to talk about the box art alone, let me go on a tangent here because the box art looks gorgeous. Now, I have mixed feelings about the robo mode, has how it is drawn over here. But it seems to be growing on me. Well, I think it is because of the poor quality image that was on social media a while back. So I did have a bit of a negative feeling about the robo mode being drawn on the box. Just because of the poor quality image. But looking at Sarah herself, she just looks gorgeous. She just looks more innocent than she looked in the anime. With the flower fields in the back. I forgot what flower that is called. I remember clearly that Yuki mentioned it. It's from... Uh, v Gundam, which I never watched. And I like Sarah's character, but I do not like the way that Sunrise treated her in the anime. Just because, well, first of all, you should not introduce a second conflict in a short 25 episode series. Second of all, through her character and through her potential deletion of, of off of GBN, it introduced heavy issues into the anime, which should be a kid's show. But they somehow managed to introduce like depression and kind of suicide and the five stages of grief into the anime through her. So I really do not like how they treated her in the anime, but I really do like her character. She's my second favorite character in the uh, in the anime. And I like how funny uh, Bandai remarked this bag not included. Of course the bag is not included. But you can kind of recreate carrying her around since this is technically a one-to-one -one scale model. But uh, I'm going to let you guys determine that for yourselves. So let's move on to the plates. So first of all, we have the A1 plate, which is from the Diver Nami kit. Same for the A2. So you should feel a similar like a frame build. Well, look at that arse over there. It's kind of molded in. But, nah, whatever. And then, the B plate is where it starts to kick off. Because the B plate is totally new. And thank the Lord for these holding hands. Just because I was fretting about, oh my god, if the mobile doll Sarah doesn't come with any open hands, how the hell am I going to let her hold the scythe? Thank God they included these. And... I was looking at the design of the mobile doll Sarah, especially the back skirt, and it clicked with me that it reminded me, it just clicked with me, that it resembles the Kimura's Trooper's back skirt. Like, I was dismantling the Kimura's Trooper yesterday, and I, and I, as I looked at the, deli the line art and the design today, I think, I thought, uh, Ford mentioned that it, rem it gives out a Galio Baldwin vibe. But I was just thinking, what does that remind me of? And it suddenly clicked with me, and then uh, the Kimber's Trooper came into mind. And the C-plate, it is in Imperial White, but due to the poor lighting that I have, it looks kind of yellowy in person. I don't know about the camera, it looks white in the camera. And, whoa, well, please, <laughs> I, ha I have to put this together quickly, just to not let this ghastly face haunt me for the rest of the Christmas and then C2 with more of that ghastly face. And then the D plate for the uh, variations of hair. Which I, I do like it in this soft like baby blue. It looks kind of nice. And then finally the E plate. With the hand covers and a little bit of the arms and joints. And also one eye piece. Which... I will mention right now why it is a bad choice to give her one eyepiece only. She has different expressions. Like, I know 
they may be just subtle changes. Yeah, they are just subtle changes because there's a duplicate set of eyes, just in case you lost one of them. Now she has a what looking straightforward face. She has a looking towards left, her left, and looking towards her right. So you have to pick carefully. Not that the stickers are not easy to just peel off and replace, but it will lose some of that stickiness when you just pull it, pull it off and replace it. So it is unlike the other uh, diver uh, diver figurized standards and also those uh, uh, MS girls that we got throughout the back half of the entire uh, Bill Fighters kit series. It doesn't have like extra face plates for you to switch out. Now, co correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not that familiar with those MS Girls kits, but yep, this doesn't have extra face plates for you to replicate the looking towards the left and looking towards the right. So you gotta choose carefully. And it does come with a stand, thankfully. Now I have more stands that I can put in my disposal for, well, just my custom showcases. And then it looks like. Sarah is just going to be held together by plastic and also these clear polycasts, which I like. Because these are one of the strongest polycasts that I've ever used. So, that's all the plates. And let's move on to the instruction manual. Now, I do not like how they just put these together and not the backside. But I kind of understand just because that uh, they cannot afford the space to put the back's view of the of the real mode and the MS mode. So yeah that's understandable. And then there's a summary of the Sarah of Sarah's character and then the mobile doll Sarah, which is basically the robo mode. And then the mobile doll which I do not know if now let me let me put it in this way. They kind of reiterated the story of the mobile doll that fits into GBN, which in fact the term mobile doll is used commonly in Gundam Wing. That's why Ipik I go if the uh, designer of the mobile doll Sarah drew a piece with just the MS mode and then with all the mobile dolls in Gundam Wing and also an evil version. For the love of God, please somebody make an evil Mobile Doll Sarah Custom because well I'm gonna be using mine and this is freaking expensive it costs me what one sixty Hong Kong dollars and there's just a description of just the head unit arm unit skirt unit this doesn't come with any accessories obviously which thank God I do not have to put anything in a ziplock and then the real slash MS mode over here and then the color guide simple color guide and then I just like how they showed this you you can make Sarah carry Momo. At least you can replicate that because it has a stand over here. And then let's move on in. So first of all you have the usual uh, warnings, part, part scan what not to do for Japanese only order sheet and QR code. The key is right above the first first step. And of course you start with the torso and then the head. And where's the verbal head? <laughs> Probably in a different part, whatever. And then the right side. I love the I love that how there are flowers just right beside the uh, right beside the titles of each part. That's kind of nice. Just like how the Wing Gundam Finiche got the Ferrari font treatment on the box, and then uh, yeah, yeah, right arm, left arm. It's just a simple two to three step build. And then you have the right leg, left leg. She's gonna have that. She's gonna have the thick arse from from leftover from Nami, and of course she's gonna be using the ball joints. And you have the uh, reiterated Kimaris Trooper turtle shell back skirt. And then, of course, the front and side skirts. And then put it together. The base is just simple. You plug it onto the back, the inner side of the back skirt, which is good. You don't need to plug it in the anus. And that's it. And then the MS mode, just pull out the head, pull out the shoulders, and then switch some parts around on her body. Which is going to be a gassy sight because you're just going to have a dis disembodied human looking head rolling around on the streets while you display her in MS mode. It's going to creep me out. Well, nightmare before Christmas. And then you have flowers and then the flying pose. Too bad this doesn't come with the angelic effect parts that were displayed once the uh, mobile doll first launched. But... 
Well, what what can you do? You can always make some with your with your clear folders. But anyways, this is gonna be the end of the lengthy unboxing of Mobile Dolls Hour because I have a lot to rant about this kid. I I like the character. I hate how they how how Sunrise treated her. But all in all, this is already growing on me. Not that it hasn't grown on me because I had to make use the MS Mobile Falcon on Virgo, and that's about it for the commentary. So let me think what you. Let me think what you. Let me know what you think about the mobile doll Sarah yourselves. I know somebody would say that there is a golly golly feel from her, but aside from that, tell me in the comments below what do you think of Sarah's character. I just got burnt by my light. Tell me in the comments below what do you think of Sarah's character. How do you like the way that Sunrise treated her? And of course, what do you, if you have the model kit this early, and or if you have the model kit already in general, what do you think of it? And yep. That's about it. And what I'm going to be doing with this kit is, well, I'm going to make this quick. I'm going to be building it, reviewing it, dismantling it, and then spraying it into Virgo. So, yep, that's the plan. So the review is still going to be up. I, I'll i try to upload it as soon as possible because, well, there's just Christmas shit to do. Be well, I have to write Christmas cards for the entire class and all that kind of stuff. And of course, official, just standard schoolwork. But anyways, that's going to be it. And I'll see you all in the review and in Gundam Virgo's showcase. See you there.